Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rising World. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. We are working on getting the second floor laid out. Yeah, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. The bedroom area has been kind of snapped together. And right now, I'm just kind of making my... Oh, wrong way. Trying to make my way around the roof line to get caught up with where the bedroom is. And this is just snapping together like a dream. Like a dream. It's so nice, because when you have the return key activated, it just lines it up perfectly with the log below it, and then it comes up here, and... Did I do the one, two, three, four? I feel like I've got off somewhere with the one, two, three, four thing here, and if I do that right here, it's going to screw it up. So I'm gonna just snap that one in. I don't know why, but I feel like I did. Oh, oh come on, get back up there. You could do it, you can do it, buddy. You could do it. Oh, come on, give me a corner. Oh, ooh, whoa, that was close. All right, there we go. Um, doing great today. Doing great. It is a Thursday, so it was my longer day at work, and we have the hot temperatures now hitting Arizona because the monsoon season is coming up just around the corner. So temperature today when I left work was 102 degrees, and it looks to us that uh, according to the weather service, we've got heat advisories and all kinds of good stuff like that coming uh, next week where it's going to be hitting uh, 114 in the area. Not where I live, but uh, now I can't remember if I did this right. Control, one, two, three, four. There we go. Control. And uh, I left work. It was 102 degrees. The real hot temperatures are coming on Sunday and lasting right now at least through Wednesday. So they're advising people to not be outside and all that good stuff because it's going to be just so dang cold. Uh, oh, I need to take control off. And let's... Nope. There we go. I do that for a little while each day. Every time I come in here to do this, I do that a little bit. I just push the wrong button for a little while, and then it all comes together. But yeah, by hitting the return key right now, and then I hit control each time, and I do come over, and I check just to make sure. But it's really good about lining that stuff up. Four right there, bam, like that, control. And it just, it's snapping together really quick. Looks like the sun is getting ready to go down for the day. So we're going to have to sleep, and I'll show you what I've got going on in the... Uh, bedroom area I've got the windows figured out let's get over here a little bit further and I believe that needs to shrink down just a little bit maybe not um, let's do that let's hit control and let's slide it back into that one a little bit there there we go perfect and return and stretch it back out again uh, so we're also in fire restrictions. Those started today for my area. And that means you cannot have a campfire unless you are two, three, four, unless you are in a designated campground, something the Forest Service put up because they can't trust people anymore. Uh, we've got so many fires burning in the state right now, none of which are requiring any type of evacuation, which is the good thing. Uh, just a ton of wildfires burning, which is unfortunate. Hmm, I can't see what it's actually doing on the inside here. So we're going to come down here and we're going to do that right there and hit control. And we're going to slide that log right on over like so and pop it into place. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, we, we, we can't trust ourselves because there's so many firefighters in the state right now. So many firefighters. We've got firefighters from Idaho, Oregon, Washington, New Mexico, California, all in the state of Arizona right now, fighting wildfires all over the state. And so right now, you can't have a campfire unless you go to a forest-improved campsite. So Variety, tomorrow, today, actually, today. Oh, I see. I've got to come across. i got to come around this one more time. Uh, the sun is just about down. Can we sleep? Tonight, when she gets home, i got to get the canoe loaded, get the trailer hooked up. I'm going to actually drive it all to work with me tomorrow morning, bright and early by 4 a.m. I get to work. And uh, then we're gonna, I'm going to, after work, I get off at noon, I'm going to go out to a place called Kaibab Lake. And I am going to hopefully get us a spot. Because right now, all the people from Phoenix, we call them the Phoenicians, they are all going to want to come up here and get out of the heat. I left work today. It was 102 degrees when I got home. I was an 86 degree temperature, which is, you know, it's a lot better. They want that. They come up here and they come up here by the droves. Again, I didn't count. Pay attention. One, two, three, four. I should just stop talking while I'm doing that. 
Uh, so yeah, that's my that's my goal tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to record tomorrow because I've got to drive about an hour or a little more than that to get to the spot we're going to, three, four. And then I've got to come back uh, and come home, which is going to take a few hours for me to do this because i got to get everything set up too. And uh, and then I'm going to pick up Variety from work and take her out there. That way we, we can get a spot. If we don't go out there and do that, they'll be gone by the time she gets off work. So... You know, you got to do what you got to do to get a spot. But this lake has been really good for trout. Uh, we've had some friends go out there, and they've done really, really well with the trout. So we're hoping that we're going to be able to uh, to score some. I have a feeling they're going to be very deep with the weather getting so hot. Uh, the the hottest temperature we're supposed to get so far this year is coming on like Monday and Tuesday of next week. It's supposed to be about 112 where I work. Oh, one, two, three, four. This looks like it's back on track now, which is good. I hope it is. 114 degrees. And down the Phoenix area, it's supposed to be like 122, 123. Last time they had temperatures that hot there, somebody actually fried an egg on the pavement. Yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of funny videos about people doing different things. One guy baked cookies uh, in his car on a cookie tray, on a cookie sheet. To set it in his car up on the dashboard and the cookies cook baked. Yeah, it's that hot. Mm-hmm. Pretty crazy, huh? Unbelievably crazy hot. Uh, so that's coming. But we need that in order to get our monsoon fired up. The monsoon is coming uh, right around the 4th of July is when the monsoon starts here. We get those big storms every day that build and build and build and then they drop their wrath upon us. Once those usually hit, the fire restrictions go away and you can go back out in the forest and, uh, you know, have a campfire. And you don't have to be in a, a forest-approved campsite. You can just be uh, dispersed camping. And that's what we like to do because when you go to a campground, there's all kinds of people there. One, two, three, four. And it's not that we don't want to be around people. It's just we go out in the forest. We like to hear the forest sounds. And every now and again, you get some elk that come into camp and stuff. And it's just, you know, it's just more fun that way for us anyways. Uh, we're not loud or noisy or anything like that. We're just uh, we're just campers. We're almost there, guys. And what did we do last time? We hit control and we actually stretched this out a little bit and popped it into place, right? Because we do need that little hang over there. And uh, stretch it out. We're almost there. Can you believe it? In just this little bit of time we're talking. I tell you what. At first when I started this project, I thought, oh my god, what have I got myself set up into? One, two, three, four. This is going to take me forever. But uh, once you get the first couple layers down and you get the right keys you're pressing over and over again, it snaps together really quick. Let me make sure this is okay. Nope. Every now and again, one of those does that. It's really kind of weird. Let's go. So, you see it? see it hop up? There we go. And up here, and we're going to be over here on this side. Actually, we're going to be over here. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to shrink this guy down. And we can be able to see what we're doing over on this side. Hit Control. And it looks like we could go a little bit more. And let's slide that back. And I think we're good to go there. Pop, just like so. And Control. And let's go back to number four with an empty hand. Oh, it looks like I need one more row, huh? I need one more row. One more row. Let me get the one more row taken care of, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done so far, and we'll talk about some other things we need to do here on the log cabin. So I shall be right back. All right. All taken care of. All taken care of all the way up until the top of the windows. So I placed windows in here. I did a double window here. This window is a bigger. These, these two windows are a little bit bigger than the ones that are on this wall over here. I thought that was kind of appropriate because that's going to be the big window that you walk up to and take a look out of and all that good stuff, you know. And with the glass in it, I, I just love this, uh, this kind of bubbly, ripply glass. I like it a lot. It's very wavy and it, it gives a really good texture when you look outside. And what a great view, huh, of the pine forest out here. Really great view. I had to take down uh, four trees, two on this corner and two on this corner right over here that were kind of butting into the build. So I cut those down. We have actually the wood, I believe, is in our, yeah, 40 logs out of uh, four trees. So it's at 10 logs per tree. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so we've got a little extra wood, but that is the level that we're going to go to now. Now, after this, after this, and this is the thing I'm trying to work out in my head. Some of you 
who probably know uh, can help me out with this one. Uh, the roof line is going to come up, the gables are going to come up and come back down this way. And of course we're going to need one on this side too because this roof is going to be bigger than the roof over here. So this roof actually needs to butt up against this wall. Now, what I'm having, uh, I'm sort of having an issue with it. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe what if I do something like this right here, this will help too. Let me, let me, let me do something real quick here. Let's put this right here. That's going to go right there, and then we're going to do another one right there, and then we're going to put one. Look at that. Look at the difference. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Look at the difference in how these have gone together since we started the beginning. So I tell you what, we're going to take that one out. We need to be consistent here. I'm all out of those. Okay, so we need to run downstairs down to the basement. Uh, since we're going in the basement, that's a that's fine. That'll work for me just fine. Uh, the suggestion is, is I drop the floor down by one block so that this wall is five high. Right now it's four, but the suggestion is to go down, take all this out, the flooring, and go down one more block and make it a five high ceiling. We have to do that. This is actually poking into the living room. Let me show you. Uh, just the top of it is but we're going to need at least the five blocks. Now, the, the paper press, I don't think is going to fit in here, but you can see these guys are sticking through up here. So that is, uh, that's not going to be acceptable. So we do need to go down one more block. So I'll have to take the time to do that and knock the floor out and, uh, you know, do one more row of these guys all the way around and then drop this down. Oh, look at that. The bearskin rug actually comes through the floor too. That's unfortunate that this stuff kind of happens. You know? It, it, I'm not quite sure. Sip my coffee real quick. I don't know that there's any way I can avoid something like that either, other than to put it someplace completely else. I, I don't know. But there it is. Okay, so there's that. So yeah, this game needs to go down one more. The idea that I meant to bring up last episode, and I forgot to, is that we need some sort of a support beam downstairs. So I thought these kind of support beams would be pretty appropriate. We'd do like one there, and then we'd do another one over on this one, and one down on that end right there. And then here we do the same thing where we put probably a support beam right here, and a support beam right here, one over here, and one over here. That should be ample to uh, hold up the floor. I would think. If you guys think I need more than that, let me know. But I think I think it should be enough. I think it should be enough. I do not want to close and close this in. I want to I want to show that we did the work, you know? We did the work. This is this is a stick built house. We didn't uh, just throw blocks together and make a block house. We 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 built a, we're building a stick frame house, which I'm pretty pleased about. It so far it's turning out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah. I want to do that. Uh wood beam. Uh, wood log, actually. Thank you very much. And we're going up to number 68. Uh, let's max out our lumber. Oh, we got 16 left. That's it, huh? Okay, that, that'll work. That'll work just fine. That'll work just fine. Oh, by the way, also, the suggestion for the toilet, we were talking about that last episode, was to uh, perhaps we could find a dark log that would uh, make it look like a pipe. So I put that one here. Oh, by the way, watch this. I have to go to the bathroom. Poof. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you know how to get off these things? Because I struggled with it the first last time I did this. Escape. And look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a magician. I'm full of magic. Pew. <laughs> I'm the magic toilet. The magic bowl. Okay, so here we are. Let's, let's get back. Let's get serious here. All right. Did I... Did I okay, we're, we're working on this right here. So we need the log. Uh, obviously, we're off a little bit on here. I guess that does not surprise me. Um, let's go control and let's go on upstairs, up the scaffolding here. Let's take a look and see just how badly we are off. Oh boy. Um, oh boy, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing to me. Look how different that is. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do much about that either because what's done is done. I mean, I literally have to tear down so much to do anything with that that we're going to have to live with um, a little deformity here. Maybe what we do is we'll put something along here to kind of hide this a little bit. Uh, but yeah, definitely um, definitely a little bit of a deformity. Uh, let's go control. Let's go in here and let's shrink this down. Be honest, I don't know that it's all that that much, really. I mean, that's not that's not so bad, really. I mean, that's that's pretty good. 
I'm off by, I don't know what, an eighth of a log, a quarter, an eighth of a log right there. That's probably a quarter of a log, huh? almost a third. So it's off a little bit, but we can, we can deck this out. What I can do here too is with this guy right here, we could take this one right here, stretch this out a little bit more. And like that. And we can come out a little bit further with that one. Pop it into place. And then that's going to hide. It's got a... Oh, wait. Control. There we go. That kind of hides that um, blemish over on this side. And then if we wanted to, what we could do is uh, turn the return off. And let's flip the log up. We're going to spin it around first, though, because we have to do that. Uh, we could do something like this right here. Uh, control. Let's move this scaffolding and let's take a look and see if we can clean this up a little bit so it doesn't look quite so bad. We go up, over, uh, and then into the wall like so. Take this one out of here too. Oh, page up. Sorry. Page up. over, stretch it out a little bit more. Maybe we could even shrink this log down a little bit so it fits in here better. Butt that right into there, like so. Force it in a little bit further. We've got nice uniform curve, 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 curve on this side of that. How do we look over here? A little hard for me to tell, but let's snap it into place and see what it does. There we go. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? And then we can do the same thing right over here. Uh, we're going to hit, oops, control, slide that over, slide it on in. And we're going to have to uh, really get a good look at this. Oh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I am no longer upstairs. Let's take that in a little bit further and page down. In, page down, in, page down. We've got extra log that we can fool around with right there. And I think I'm going to actually come down a little bit more page down with it a couple more times and move it over to the far away, away from us a little bit. We're going to come over here and we're going to see, okay, we're, we're way off on that end. So we're going to come back a little bit with it. And that should clean that up. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Yeah, you can see we're a little off up here. So we'll work on it and we'll get it, we'll get it fixed up. But it's not going to be that big a deal. Back to what I was saying at the beginning. Now what I'm seeing here is that we're going to have to do a gable right here. We're going to have to do one on the outside edge here. Because this... This roof, this roof out here is going to have to meet up with a wall over here. Otherwise, it's just not going to fit right. Not in my head anyways. I'm not seeing it fitting right. Uh, so we need to, we're going to build a gable here. We're going to build one out there. And then we're going to run the roof across, of course, over to this, this wall right here. And then this one is going to, um, you know what, we'll probably wind up going one more log up from here. Yeah, this is, um, what am I thinking about here? It always be easier to do a gable roof this way and do another one this way. Run the roof down this way and run the roof down that way. But then if I have that roof going this and this, that's not going to look right. It's not going to look right. We're going to have to go really high with this, and I don't want to do that. This is going to have to come up. This is going to have to go... Wow, this is really going to be steep, too. This is going to come way up. Way up. If the roof is going to run this way, that's going to be pretty high. What do you guys think of that? Uh, we got to do what we have to do to get the roof on, of course. Uh, we can't not have a roof. It has to have a roof, of course. Um, 
I'll have to give this some more thought, though, when it comes to the roofing, and I'm sure you guys have got some suggestions out there as well. Uh, chimney needs to go up as well, all the way to the top of the roof also. And I put the chimney there because I did see... I did see the gable, the pitch of the roof, going up this way and back down this way. So, you know, that's going to be pretty sizable roof. And then once we get the roof installed, we'll come back and we'll put in the trusses and uh, the supports and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to put an attic on it. I think I want an open ceiling so it looks nice and high, especially when you're down below in the downstairs area. It's going to be this really high ceiling. Oh, it's going to rain again. This is the second time it's rained now since I've been on. It was sunny for like a day, and then uh, it got cloudy. Yeah, water should fill up, but it's not going to fill up fast enough for me. It's looking pretty good down here. I mean, it doesn't look too too massive, the walls and stuff. I mean, it's a big cabin, right? I mean, this would be considered probably a pretty big cabin. Let's get some water. The rain will fill your water up, but it does take, I think, a little too long. So we'll just go out here and drink some water. Now, what do you guys think of that? I, th I think we can get away with that roof. I think we can. My concern is it's going to get really big. This one, not so much. This is pretty small area right here. This is going to go up to about here and back down here. But the other one, it's going to go way up and back down. It's going to take a bit to get that put together. Most definitely. I got some, get some corn. Come on. There we go. Uh... And then the other vote is to put a roof on here. <clears throat> a roof over the porch. So we'll do that too. Now that I see this, we've got space for something like that. This, this, the roof of the porch will, will definitely go up against this wall right here, right about, right about in here. And it'll be just a low grade, slow roof uh, that comes down onto the porch. So that's no big deal. I wasn't quite sure how high that was going to look once we got it in there. So yeah, we can do that. We'll take these guys out. I was thinking the other way to do this was to use um, smaller logs all the way across here to give it a better look too. But this is looking pretty good, I think. Pretty sharp. But I do need to wrap my head around the gables. And the only way I'm going to do that is to actually put one together, bring you in, show you what I did, show you what I'm doing, and then move forward from there. But yeah, I just... I really have to think about it, guys, and fool around with it. It's going to take a lot of time to do that. And I just don't have the time today because it's uh, my short day to record. So that is going to have to wrap up this episode. Kind of a shorter episode for sure. But I wanted to show you guys that the second floor is pretty much, pretty much sealed up. I think we're good to go here now. You know, I think we're good to go. Uh, the roof is next. Gables and then the roof. And we're good to go with that. And then we can decorate the inside of the house. We can get our uh, banisters put in across here. And the little one right along here, too, for the uh, railings so we don't fall off of here like we've done a couple of times today. And uh, we'll get the furniture made and stuff like that. And, oh, we've got to build this window, too. Now, let's we can talk about this window really fast. This window, I was going to get kind of... Um, look at this corn. It keeps growing. Do you have to pick, like, each of these individually or just the whole plant? I don't know. It's it's kind of odd. I'll have to wait till it grows again and see. This window initially, what I was going to do is kind of sort of do sort of a, uh, a bay window shape where it would come out at an angle, go across and back in at an angle and do the same thing on top. The thing is, is that it's really, we really don't have the roofing material to be able to do something like that. If you want to do it in blocks, we could do it in blocks, but it just doesn't look as good with the blocks. We want to lay down sheets of, of roofing. So... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring this window out. We'll do a little framework underneath it with the uh, foundation material. And um, uh, we'll, we'll have a little roof over the top of this window as well. I was thinking we might make it uh, kind of a walkout window where we take some of these logs out and readjust this. And it would be kind of a, a window that would come out and over and back and... Uh, it, it'll look better. It'll look better uh, than what I was going to do before because, yeah, there is just no way to kind of angle roofing to do something of that shape. 
uh, without it looking kind of junky, I think. So I'm going to scrap that plan, but we are going to do uh, a nice window down here. So that is the other thing. I wanted to make sure I mentioned to you as well. So that is going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button for me. I'd appreciate it very, very much. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.